Hi everyone, I'm Olivia and I work for the Fort Worth Public Library. Today we're going to do an art project involving a set of numbers that show up in nature over and over again. Sounds complicated, right? Don't worry, it'll be easy. We'll make it together. You can do this project with Q-tips and regular paint if you have it. And if you don't, I'll show you how to make some puffy paint with three ingredients from the pantry. We're making a flower with the Fibonacci sequence numbers. That means we'll be painting a flower with three, five, or eight petals. My adventurous artist in the audience, if you feel inspired to paint a flower with 13 petals like a black-eyed Susan or 21 petals like a daisy, go for it. First things first, let's talk a little bit about what the Fibonacci sequence is. It's a set of numbers that goes one, one, two, three, five, eight, 13, 21, 34. Seems like a weird pattern. How do we even get that? Well, you add the first two numbers to get the next number. So one plus one is two. Two plus one is three. Three plus two is five. And it goes all the way up. All the way up to infinity if you want to, but I don't think anyone's ever counted that high. Actually, on our screen right now, you can see an example of one of those flowers with eight petals. You see how you've got all those right there? We'll see a few more examples and then we'll get started with our art project, okay? This flower has three petals. This bluebell has five petals. We've already seen a flower with eight petals, and we also have this black-eyed Susan. You see these on the sides of the freeway in Texas all the time. And these have 11 petals. This bit is a redo. I said the wrong number of petals. This black-eyed Susan has 13 petals. See, if we count them all together, see how that's uh, 13 of them right there? This daisy has 21 petals. That's so wild. Next, we're gonna see a sunflower. If you counted all the petals on the sunflower, we would have 55. Oh my goodness, that's so many, isn't it? And there's a secret right here in how all of these seeds are put together. I'll tell you a little bit more at the end of the video. Now that we've seen some examples of all of those different flowers that all have these crazy numbers, see that sunflower pattern is 21 plus 34 plus 55, right? Okay, now that we've seen all of those cool things, did you know that this pattern has been known in India for hundreds and hundreds of years? And there was a guy in Italy who is known as Fibonacci and he brought this idea into Europe. And so we know the sequence today as the Fibonacci numbers. Now that we've learned a little bit about the math part of this, now we're gonna get to the art part of this. And as promised, I'm gonna show you how to paint it with regular paint. And if you don't have any at home, that's okay. I'll show you how to make puffy paint with three ingredients from the pantry. We've got self-rising flour, we got uh, salt, it can be regular table salt, any kind of salt that you have. If you get like a big kosher salt, it'll be extra sparkly. And we also have gel food coloring. Now, if you don't have gel food coloring, that's fine. The regular food dye will work just fine. So we're gonna mix one tablespoon of flour. I've got some in one bowl, just gonna put some in the other bowl. So one tablespoon of flour. We've got one tablespoon of salt. And I'll level that down a little bit. And one tablespoon of salt over here for this other color. I've also got a little toothpick here so we can mix it all together. 
You can also just use another Q-tip if you've got an extra or a spoon is fine. And then we're just going to add a little tiny bit of water, like a very little bit, like a quarter teaspoon. Just a little bit. Doop. And doop. Then we're going to add our food dye. This one's going to be our green. And this one's going to be our purple over here because I think purple's pretty. Okay. And then you just got to mix, 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 mix all that together until it's about the color and consistency you want. If it gets a little crumbly, crumbly like this, don't worry. This is where we add just a little bit more water. Or a lot. If you accidentally add a lot, it's okay too. It will come out in the microwave because we're going to microwave this to set it. Okay, I'm going to give this over here a good mix. See how it's turning a lovely shade of purple? That's more like an actual little bit. <laughs> and it should be about the consistency of stirred yogurt when you're all done. And if it's a little thick, add a teeny bit of water and just mix, mix, mix. Now that we've got our paint all mixed up, I'm going to go ahead and take an index card or anything else that you have that's a little bit thicker paper because regular paper will warp and warble with all of that water. But anything that's thick like cardstock or even just any index cards that you might have around the house, that'll work just fine. And I'm going to use this as my painter's palette. This is just an old coffee can lid. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to start painting. All right. I'm going to start with the petals. See how it gets a nice big gob of paint there? We're going to make one. And then we're going to make two, oop, a little more paint, two, we want it to be like a dot on the page so that it really has enough room to rise when we put it in the microwave. So those two are nice and big. I'm going to just touch up this one up here, make it a little bigger. Bam. One, two, three dots, like in our Fibonacci sequence. And then... We're going to make our stem. This is just, this can be any shape. If your paint's a little watery, don't worry. This equal part of flour and of, of salt, that will keep it from being gross and moldy. We're also going to cook it in the microwave. So, I want to just fill that lovely bit in. And remember, when you're doing art, everything you make is going to be beautiful. There is absolutely no such thing as perfect. I'm going to make a little leaf here because I feel like it. So we've got our three petals and we've got our stem and our leaf. Can you see that? I'm going to put that over to the side, and then I'm going to get whoops, another index card, and this one we're going to do regular paint. So I'm going to get out my color for my petals, and my color for my stem and for my leaf. Now my parents, if you're going to go get paint from the uh, or order paint, 
Go ahead and get something that's uh, washable, like tempera. That way it comes out of your carpet or your floor or your kids clothes. So we're going to take our petal color and we're going to make one and two. Just going to want to even that out. And three petals. Now I'm going to take another Q-tip because I don't want the colors to mix and get yucky. I'm going to take my stem color and I'm just going to draw my stem. And then I'm going to draw my leaf. Okay. One, two, three. You can also make five petals. Because three plus two is five. Or you could even make eight petals. Let's try that. Now these, I'm doing, I'm going to do four kind of opposite from each other and almost like a plus sign so I can be sure to fit all of them in. And we want nice big dots, right? Because we want this to rise and be lovely and puffy. If you've got to fill some in later, that's okay. So we've got our four. Now I'm going to make another set going in the in the spaces that I left. So there's five and there's eight. Got to go ahead and put our stems down there or our petals I think I'm going to go ahead and fill in the center of my flower yeah and now we're going to go microwave ready be sure you don't microwave your regular paint this is only for our puffy paint all right, now it's time to microwave these to set them. Now, when you're, when you're doing this, be aware that when you take it out of the microwave, it's going to be pretty hot, so be careful, all right? I'm putting mine on a paper towel so I can pick it up easy. And after 45 seconds in the microwave, our pieces are all done. You see all that really cool texture and how it's raised like that? That means it worked. It got puffy. Thanks so much for joining me. Your clue to find out more is this. The Greek letter phi, also known as the golden mean. To find out what that means and for more information about this special pattern in nature, check out the Fort Worth Public Library catalog. Don't forget to log in with your library card. Thanks for joining me. See you next time. Bye!